Hi guys, we've got a Turkish dimple in the vice today. This is called a Kale. It's a 10 pin dimple. You can see from looking at the key, we've got two rows of pins. The row down the bottom all seem to be uh, very deep set, and the row at the top seems to be very shallow set. Not quite sure how that's going to work out. I haven't quite got my head around this. I've had it for six months or so. Um, never really got very far on it. I'm going to dive into my beautiful pit roll and come out with a flat flag. And let's go wiggling down our key weight and see what we can find. Pin number one down the bottom. Here's the full set. And then spring back up. Number two nudged out the way, number three nudged out the way, nothing or four. Number five kind of nudged out the way, number one is back up, can't get my pick out. We're in place, up the top. Feels like we've got a binder on number three, number four, something like that. I'm not happy we're down the bottom for the moment. One feels good. Two feels good. Three feels good. And it's open. Wonderful. All right. Uh, as I say, we do have the key, so uh, let's do that. Let's zoom out. Get my gutting equipment ready, and we're going to try and pop this baby open. So clip should come off pretty simply. Now this is going to be a bit of a kerfuffle because it's a 10 pin so it's going to be spring loaded pretty much everywhere and we've got to be sure we know how to gut it. So we're going to be able to go in with a normal shape. I think we are. Okay, I'm definitely going to shim it, but I'm wondering, do I shim down the bottom or do I shim at the top? <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? Maybe we can shim both at the bottom and at the top. No, I don't reckon it's necessary. Let's just see if we can use a normal size plug follower first. No, we can't. Normal size plug follower. It's not going to fit inside it. We're going to have to use a mini plug follower, and that's where all the all hell is going to break loose. <laughs> okay. Um, can we just check we don't have anything else the right size while we're at it? I think we could probably do it. If we get a double shim, I think we could probably do it with a pick handle. Let's go. Okay, we just lost a spring or two from the top. But I think we're going to be okay. So these are my five, my five pins down the bottom. These are my five pins at the top. I suppose we should smack out the pins at the bottom first. Let's get a pin and tray into place. Okay, so pin number five, four, three, two, and one. These were my bottom pins, I think, so uh, I guess I should put them on the bottom, really, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Oh. 
Let's go to the top pins. One of them dropped out. It must have been this little bugger here. And then four, three, two, and one. Okay. So that's our plug. Now we're losing springs from the top, of course. So there's one. There's two. Ah, these springs also have of course the pins in them so that's one of the pins from the top must be number three and the spring is just stuck here okay that's three um let's go let's try and get the shim out down the bottom and we'll try and get the down pins leave the top shim in if we can Pin number one perfectly standard Pin number two there's a spool Pin number three Standard. Pin number four is a spool. And pin number five is a standard. Alright, coming up to the top. I don't know, we'll get the pit. All of the springs look the same. Two, three. So coming up to the top, I think we've already lost two, haven't we? Three. So I guess we're going to get four and five popping out now. So that was four, it just pinged across the table. Don't worry, I'll pick that up in a minute. And number five is up here. Okay, great. That was a bit tricky, but didn't really mess it up that much. So our Kali 10 pin dimple kind of looks like this. Um, downstairs we had some standards and some fairly standard looking spools and all of our key pins look relatively simple. Upstairs we've got relatively standard key pins and we've got these little tiny beautiful little uh, button pins with the spring in. Of course these little things live <coughs> in the top of the cylinder. Can we zoom out a bit? Can we get a little light down there or not? Don't know if you can see anything down there, but we've got, yeah, maybe you've got the little holes down the, at the top of the cylinder correspond to the holes down the bottom of the cylinder, of course. There's little tiny springs. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get this back together, but it was quite an interesting little lock. It's quite an interesting little pick. Um, hopefully I can get it back together and send it on to someone else to torture them. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about the bad gutting and speak soon.